Hi guys, welcome to the channel. I'm Office Blow Daz. I'm Sophie. I'm Office Blow Caden. Okay, I've actually seen this video before we start. Oh, but it is a very popular video for reaction uh, other reactors to do as well. Oh, is it? Um, but because we're trying to give you a bit of education on the USA, yes. um, and find our way around the USA, I know Aiden is from the USA. Technically. Technically. <laughs> um, I'm going to show you how big is the USA. Okay. Um, very big. Realistic. I wouldn't like to walk it, as you say. No well, when you add stuff. in places like Alaska, it just shows, mm -hmm. makes it so much bigger, doesn't Hawaii. it? Yeah. Hawaii. Yeah, Hawaii. you have to yeah. walk to Hawaii. No. <laughs> I don't think you have to walk there. You can't walk there. You've got good luck walking there. There's no bridge <laughs> yet. Yeah. And the Infographics channel is a really good channel to yeah. sort of get information from. Mm. Um, Very so, visual. Uh, yeah, so whenever you're ready, hey, let's go for it. How big is This video was for? made possible by Wix. If you're ready to create a website, head over to wix.com slash go slash infographics to try out one of their premium plans right now. The United States is currently the world's sole superpower with military installations around the world. As a country, its geography spans from subtropical forests to rolling plains, scorching deserts, and arctic wastes. But just how big is the US really in comparison to the rest of the world? Hello and welcome to another episode of The Infographics Show. Today, we're taking a look at how big the US really is. The US is approximately 5,680,000 square miles, with terrain that varies dramatically. Only Russia at 10.6 million square miles and Canada at 6,205,000 square miles are larger than the US. Its three biggest states, Alaska at 663,000 square miles, Texas at 270,000 square miles, and California at 160,000 square miles, combined would be the 17th largest nation in the world immediately after Sudan at 1.15 million square miles and right before Libya at 1 million square miles. In total, the US is larger than the 107 smallest countries in the world combined. With about 327 million people. I didn't mention Australia. Australia. I thought Australia was quite big. I'm not gonna lie, I thought China was bigger. Mm. I always thought Australia mm. was a big country. One size. Yeah. No, I, I, I don't think I said as big as America. No, still no, 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 no. But, but I thought still... when you talk about Sudan. Um... Yeah, but that was 17th. Like Australia's probably like 10th. Ah, right, okay, mm. right. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, 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 yeah. The United States is also the third most populated nation on Earth, having a total of 4.28% of the total world population. With a net yearly migration rate of approximately 900,000 people, the US is by far the one place the rest of the world wants to live, with Germany coming in second at 350,000 migrants, and Turkey in third with 325,000 migrants. In the US, 83% of the population lives in cities. The thing with Turkey is you've got, it's, it's, it's where East meets West, isn't it? And yeah. it's kind of like, you get a lot of uh, migration coming through from like Syria. And right, uh, yeah. you know the war-torn countries in the Middle East mm. and that sort of area. So because yeah. it's land-bordered with with a lot of them places, mm. Iraq, you know parts of Iraq, northern Iraq, like Erbil and places around there, Kurdistan, mm. it borders Turkey. Mm. Yeah. So, so it makes sense. Yeah. With its three most populated cities being New York City with 8.5 million people, Los Angeles with 4 million people, and Chicago with 2.7 million people. All combined, the population of the U.S.'s three biggest cities is equal to the population of Chad with 14.5 million people. Just these three cities alone. Don't want to keep pausing it, but that population there, 14.5 million, and what was it, combined... Uh... Uh, USA was eight, eight point something, four point something. Uh, was it four point something and two point something? It was eight for New York. Five for LA was it? About five-ish for LA, and so then about was about three, and three for three for Chicago. Two point so, something. There you go. So eight, twelve, uh, fourteen, fifteen, fifteen point two million. Yeah, and they're all called Chad. <laughs> <laughs> God, it was a long build-up to that one, mate. Jesus. 0.7 million people. All combined, the population of the US's three biggest cities is equal to the population of Chad with 14.5 million people. Just these three cities alone are also more populated than Cuba with 11.5 million people, Belgium with 11.3 million people, and Greece with 11.2 million people. When counting the greater metropolitan area, New York City is the 10th largest city in the world with a total population of 18.6 million people, just behind Cairo with 18.8 .8 million people, and just ahead of Dhaka with 17.6 million people. This would make the greater New York City area the 63rd largest country in the world, just ahead of Syria with 18 million people. 
The US is the world's largest economy with a gross domestic product of $20.4 trillion or 23.3% of the total global economy. China is just behind the US at $14 trillion and 16.1% of the total global economy. When measured by purchasing power parity or the price of goods and services versus individual incomes, the US comes at number two to China whose GDP PPP is $25.2 trillion. This means that while the Chinese economy is about 30% smaller than the US's, Chinese individuals have on average 20% greater purchasing power in their own country. The three biggest economies within the US states are California with a GDP of $2.6 trillion, Texas with a GDP of $1.6 trillion, and New York with a GDP of $1.5 trillion. Altogether, these three states would be the world's third largest economy, just ahead of Japan with a GDP of $5 trillion. California's economy alone is as big as the United Kingdom's, Texas's is as big as Canada's, and New York's is as big as South Korea's. The United States also has the best equipped military in the world, though it's only the third largest at 1,282,000 active duty personnel. Ahead of it are India with 1.4 million active duty personnel and China with 2.1 million active duty personnel. The US spends over $610 billion on its military every year, or 3.1% of its total GDP, 35% of the world's total military expenditure, and more than the next nine nations combined. Just behind it are China with $150 billion in expenditures and Saudi Arabia with $76 billion in expenditures. The United States also has the most military bases in the most foreign countries in the world, with approximately 800 military installations in 80 countries, possibly more military bases in more foreign lands than any nation or empire in history. The cost of maintaining these bases alone is about $156 billion, more than China spends on its entire military. On the civilian side, the US has the world's third largest police force, with 913,000 total police officers, placing it just behind India at number one with 1.9 million police officers, and China with 1.6 million police officers. In the realm of healthcare, the US is the most expensive nation on Earth, with a health expenditure per capita of $10,350, placing it ahead of Switzerland at $7,900 and Germany at $5,550. While on average the rest of the world spends about 10.3% of its GDP on healthcare, the US spends 18% of its GDP on healthcare. The United States is a large, complex nation, big enough to host several different distinct accents within its own borders. Its people are hardworking and industrious, leading the world's economy. But despite what recent political events might indicate, they're also the most welcoming nation in the world, with three times the number of immigrants than nations in either the number two or number three spot in a global comparison. The US isn't the only welcoming place in the world. We've never felt more welcomed than when we signed up with Wix to build a website. Regardless of what exactly your business or hobby is, one thing. Yeah. See about that. Yeah. Just scroll to the. Uh, yeah. Things are right. Yeah. Just a bit of an ad. It's it's uh, <laughs> it goes to show me the expenditure and the money and the uh, the the money they spend on the military. Always. Six hundred billion. Was that's crazy. Yeah, but the, the money they spend on the military is like I say. Yeah. It's, it's, it's always baffles me. Not not baffles. It's. it's Kind of like you can see why they're the pioneers, the leaders. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The military. You have to spend uh, that money yeah. you'd expect, you know. Yeah. I mean, we've said it loads of times on the office blokes and stuff like that. When we talk about the US military, you wouldn't like to fight them, would you? Oh, no. You wouldn't no, want to no mess around. Winning, no one's winning that fight. You wouldn't want to mess Against around America. with the US military. No, I don't US care what anyone says. If, there's an, if there is another world war, it won't be, in my opinion, it won't be done with tanks mm. and planes and bullets and no, soldiers. No, But... If it did come to that, the USA just destroy you instantly. Mm. Mm. You just, it's like Mike Tyson fighting me. <laughs> Are we you? Is yeah. you the UK you? Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. It just wasn't, you know, it was not, it's not, it's a no contest straight right from the start, isn't it? Right. But yeah. it's just, I mean, it's, a, it's a, just an amazing sort of like strength powerhouse. Mm. And nothing, China's getting close. China, China thinks they're right behind them, but they're not. China thinks they're better. I think they do. But they're not. It's different. One's Premier League and one's Championship. Yeah. It's that much of a gulf, I think. You know, USA is, is bang on with pretty much everything they do. You can have the dis- you can have differences of opinions with a lot of stuff mm. that people do, politics yeah. and stuff like that. But when it comes to hardware and, and things that they do... And how they run the show, it's... 
That's why it's like, not even close. That's why it's the, yeah. the American dream as well. Yes. Exactly. You don't say I'm going to live the China dream, yeah, exactly. or the Russian dream. Yeah. yeah there's no, the there's no dream. dream. There's no dream other than the American dream, isn't yeah, exactly. it? Yeah. Because it's the yeah, land of the free and all that sort of thing. Yeah. So, but it's a, yeah, it's an interesting video. Like I said, I do like uh, infographics. They do some good videos. Mm, yeah. yeah, that's quite we'll, cool. We'll go down that rabbit hole of uh, showing you some of the videos on there for you to for you guys to uh, have a look at. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. Sounds good. Sounds good. Hope you guys me. enjoyed it. Don't forget to like and subscribe, please. And we'll catch you on the next one. Bye. Cheers. Bye.